Hello and welcome to my newest video. Today I'm going to take a quick first look at a different kind of dApp, decentralized app and not necessarily a crypto game, which is called Peepith or is it Peepith or Peepeth? To be honest, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. Maybe just leave a comment below and tell me how the correct pronunciation is going to be. Um, what this is basically going to be is that as it already says on the left side on the screen, Peepith is blockchain powered microblogging and what that basically means, well you're going to see it soon when I click on enter, it's actually going to be a decentralized Twitter. Now this is basically already it, it's going to be a decentralized Twitter running on the I think Ethereum blockchain as far, under, as, far as I understood. Um, obviously it wants to bring the best traits of blockchain technology and cryptocurrency which is obviously transparency and less control of a one single company and all control to the users and to the community and all these other kind of uh, similar uh, advantages that cryptocurrencies usually bring to these kind of platforms and obviously um, especially Twitter has been accused of a lot of um, well not too good uh, actions recently and and a view in the past obviously and supporting all these kind of different different polit political movements and not um, deleting racist comments and so on and so on and all of this will be ha in the hands of the community instead of one single company that still has to have some kind of um, well some kind of uh, regular uh, regulatory uh, institution above it uh, and even then uh, it's such a major company such a large company that has such um, big control um, that it's always hard to get them to do to take any kind of action um, if they don't see any benefit for themselves and obviously um, this kind of website or platform on the ethereum blockchain wants to fix that again giving back all the power to the community and to the people actually using um, Peepith. Now this is basically already it. Um, you can check it out yourself. Uh, you only have to enter your MetaMask um, and you can also request an invite. So right now I haven't really had the chance to request an invite um, to be invited and therefore I can't really use it myself. I guess afterwards when you have been invited you can um, create your own um, Twitter or Peepith account basically and you can start um, writing and sending your own messages and get some more followers and I think uh, again I'm not too sure how many people actually use it so far it's quite new I think it has only been out for a couple of weeks maybe even just a month or so um, so there are already a few people using it obviously um, as you can see from the screen you can scroll down all the way down now you can also see the different um, accounts already using it or being invited right now so there are quite a few obviously the success of these kind of platforms will heavily depend on on mass adoption um, even if they well if you know if you talk about WhatsApp and all their other competitors and how they're accused of not having the best security and sharing uh, the user information with larger companies and so on then you have all these uh, competitors this, that focus on secure transfer of information and saving information just for yourself so nobody else can see it. Um, maybe that's going to work similar to, to with this one with Peepith where um, you have a sort of mass adoption where a larger amount of people but not comparatively to um, the use of Twitter for example use this kind of platform and that's already enough to justify uh, running Peepith in the long run, but again, uh, I think that will heavily depend on marketing and obviously just making the the website and the platform as user friendly as possible. Because yes, um, to be honest, this is in my opinion just a psychological factor again. Because yes, people always ask, and especially the, the majority asks for more transparency, and they always think it's a good solution to integrate blockchain into these kind of systems and platforms, and how well. Twitter will benefit from such an integration and giving back power to the community but they don't really like to not have good usability as well so obviously the usability has to be top-notch and the, the, the use case or the idea behind uh, Twitter is that uh, enough people actually use it and, and read your content that you post otherwise there's no point in actually posting the content so again for all this to happen there has to be a larger community to actually share your content and be well a pool for potential following 
Um, so yeah, this will again heavily depend on, on how successful the site can get. Now I'm not too sure of, about the brand value of Peepith. I think it's a little bit hard to spell, to be honest, especially for foreigners. Um, but this is just a first look judging of the idea. I think the idea in general and the execution from what I've been seeing so far uh, is really good. Um, I really like the logo. I'm not too sure about the front page. I hope hope they're going to be making it more accessible. As you can see here from the front uh, page, it also tells you the different advantages. No corporation or government controls Peepith, making it the perfect place to share what matters. So there's no real control by a large ent entity. Uh, it's just being done by the community. Uncensorable and incorruptible. Fun, fast and easy. That speaks for the usability, which is always great. Um, gets more people and a higher potential for mass adoption. Proof it's you. Well, because all the information is stored on the blockchain, monetized freely, um, and no ICO and ad free. So I, actually, this one is a really major point that a lot of people that talk about these different new uh, ideas, dApps, and, and platforms and cryptocurrencies, that uh, most of them do a lot of marketing via um, their own ICOs. And I, I guess it's leg legitimate that they want to um, reach some sort of soft or hard cap to have a nice investment pool they can take the money out of and then spend on developers and polishing their site or their platform or just making it become a reality if there is nothing um, developed yet but uh, eventually it gets kind of into the gray zone I guess a lot of you people have already made the experience of these um, scam ICOs so just general ICOs that mainly have marketing in mind not really um, releasing any kind of valuable um, use case based product eventually um, because they focus so heavily on the ICO and once they get the money they don't, they don't really know what to do with it um, and again ICOs just often have these well they are double edged sword eventually I mean they have major advantage but advantages but they also have major disadvantages in my opinion and uh, a few latest experiences of my own and of also of uh, people I know from the community have kind of proven um, that ICOs are not always the best way uh, to have a decent start uh, of investment uh, of your of your um, of your product or of your idea to make it become reality now that's the main reason I think I really like the idea of having no ICO and, and being ad free because I, I, to be honest I'm not really sure how they how they actually make money or how they can um, implement all these different um, ideas and do the implementation if they don't really have any money. I don't know how they finance themselves to be honest. Maybe it's, well it's not via ads, it can only be done via donation I guess um, by the people already being invited or having, be, having been invited. Um, other than that I can't really think of anything else. Maybe also leave a comment in uh, the comment section below and tell me what you think and how they finance themselves. If it's not via an ICO, maybe they have a large uh, investor maybe an angel investor, I don't know. Again, maybe it's by a larger company. Again, this is just a first look video. I haven't really done my due diligence. Um, but as always, please, and especially that's why, please um, don't take this video as financial advice. Please do your own research and due diligence. This is just a first look video um, before you invest into Peepith or use it, I guess. Well, if using it is free, there's no real problem of investing into something you're not really sure about. Maybe there's going to be an opportunity to invest once you get invited. I'm not, I'm not quite sure again. Um, maybe someone else knows that watches this video and can, can give me some more information. Would be really interested to do a more in-depth video later down the line. Because again, I think uh, overall my conclusion is that um, this platform, this decentralized app definitely has some potential. And obviously just for the comparisons to Twitter, I think it's always great to have some kind of uh, similar product um, out of uh, or outside of the the cryptocurrency space because it just makes mass adoption and more people shifting from one platform that is similar to Peepith more easy and uh, therefore the the investment process also more easy it kind of simplifies the whole process eventually which is normally quite um, difficult for any kind of newcomers to cryptocurrency but yeah this was a long video again, not too much uh, essential information that I could get from the website so far. I'm probably going to do a request invite and maybe again going to do a different, um, more in-depth video. Uh, check it out yourself. 
I'm going to post the link to ppit.com in the video description. Maybe I'm also going to find a Telegram, sorry. I'm hopefully going to find a Telegram. Maybe I'm also going to find a Discord channel, maybe a Slack channel, I don't know yet. So you can talk to the developers, talk to the community, get some more information before you use the website and maybe promote it yourself and talk and tell other uh, friends or family members or any kind of people you know about it. Um, yeah. Check it out yourself. Hope you liked the video and I'll see you next time. Bye.